All right, welcome everyone. This is the uh, ISC 2024 on the SDVOE Alliance booth. I'm uh, Laurent from Netgear. Uh, Netgear is a proud uh, founding member and now steering member of the SDVOE Alliance. I'm here to present a uh, less than 30 minutes uh, uh, demo, how to configure an entire SDVOE network. And I should say how to do it in less than five minutes, okay? So, to set the stage, I have a few uh, preliminary slides. Uh, let me see, does it work? Yeah. So, when it comes to AV over IP in general, or uh, specifically for the uncompressed video with SDVOE, when we have only one switch in the middle, that's always super easy, okay? Uh, most of the switches can do it natively. That's the case for the Netgear AV switches. We do nothing. We just plug everything, it's gonna work. But of course, the problems are going to happen when we have multiple switches in a larger network where obviously more configuration is needed. So Netgear as a background uh, uh, initially started uh, with uh, the SDV Alliance. Since then, we stayed hungry for uh, knowledge and we helped many other alliances to standardize the network IT from the Navy standpoint, not the other way around. So as it states now, we have more than 200 certified manufacturers working with us for which we have designed profiles. And this list keeps expanding, but for SDVOE, this is really good because in a job, we don't only do video. You will have audio, you will have lighting, you will have a whole lot um, other type of traffic. So of course, all that at the beginning was a long list of configuration and CLI commands with the very difficult techniques. So we came uh, uh, many years ago now with a new AV operating system on top of our IT switches. Now they are called AV switches because they have a Navy user interface. And the first thing you can see when you open up such a switch, you have a list of profiles. I'm presenting the latest major maintenance release that we've done in uh, November. Uh, you have profiles that are ready to go. Profiles that are certified, profiles that you can apply to the ports and the VLAN so that you do perfect, perfect video over IP. And of course, you see SDVOE consistently in any of those video profiles with or without audio. So for us at Netgear in this AV business unit, we consider that uh, software and hardware that's uh, uh, important, but it also should come with service and support. So please remember that. ProAV Design at Netgear.com, ProAV Design at Netgear.com any project before the project, during the staging, the configuration, after for troubleshooting, if anything wrong, we are here to help in far less than two hours. Write an email to us anytime, any day. We are more than 25 around the world solving 99% of the issues on the same day. So now you know why Netgear by far in this AV world become, uh, became the most recommended switch manufacturer. So today I'm going to use the new generation, the 4350 switches, because they are good for SDVOE. They, they do 10 gigabit, they do 25 gigabit, they do 100 gigabit. So we have a rack in front of me and we are going to together configure them all. So the 4350 were introduced very recently in June back in uh, Infocom last year. The first half was shipping uh, in June. And the second half, the bigger switches, the ones that you have in that rack, they are shipping this month. So as a just quick preliminary information, because we are not going to focus on that today, I just want to tell you that we made many changes in our quality of service. Now we can actually uh, use the same switches for AVB and Dante and AES67 and QSYS in harmony because we use uh, advanced techniques in those profiles so that you can mix and match without having any interrupt issues due to those DSCPs that don't play fair with each other. So the AV operating system is any of those switches. Today, I'm gonna to use the Netgear and Gauge controller. So bear with me, we are almost ready to start the configuration together. What is the Netgear and Gauge controller? That's a software that is free of charge that you can download from netgear.com for your PC or for your uh, Windows or Macintosh, okay? So I run it on my computer, and this is how you can configure and monitor and administer those AV networks. All right, uh, last but not the least, uh, I want to tell you about those things that the Netgear AV switches do for you. 
First is the uh, multicast flooding. We fix that. We don't use the standard IGMP anymore. We use what we call our IGMP plus. That is not uh, creating any flooding. In this example, you have plenty of encoders on the switch one. The querier is obviously the spine switch at the top. But because I have only one receiver on the switch two, the RX4, then only that stream and not the other streams, only that stream will transit through the network to reach out to the uh, receiver four. In a typical IGMP implementation, if you're not going to those complex PIM routing techniques with rendezvous points, all your traffic is always flooding to the querier. So we fix that. This is dynamic with Netgear AV, you never flood. But we did not stop there. You'll see during the demonstration, we don't ask you to do any trunking anymore. All the trunking between the switches, the more VLANs you are adding, the more dynamic trunking you will get in between switches. All the VLANs are dynamically trunked for you. And because we didn't want to stop there, I also now provide the automatic link aggregation so that if you add more than one link, as I'm doing here, I have four 25G links from any switch to any other switch. The dynamic lag, the auto lag is forming the link aggregation for you so that you don't have to do anything. All right. So I said we were going to spend six or seven minutes on the slides. It's done. If you want, we can go and connect. So let me introduce that rack in front of you. Uh, I am using this controller. The switches are already on board. So the controller, when you first install it, you will have to create a site. So I have a Netgear booth, uh, 5C750, just on the other side of that hall, where we have a larger network. So my site has been set up here. And I prepared another site called SDVUE. This is the site I'm using right now, OK? And in this uh, Dropbox, you can go from one side to the other. You can actually export your sites very easily so that you can give it to somebody else on another Engage controller to continue. All right. So first thing first, when we come in, we are going to discover the switches. So any switch that that PC is connected to with the network, any switch will be discovered, any Netgear AV switch. As you can see, I have three. I have discovered them. I have onboarded them already. So these three switches are in that controller. The Engage controller, oops, oops, oops. How come? I'm sorry. You should have told me earlier. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see it. All right. Pardon me. That's the trick of PowerPoint. When you screen share, you need to pay attention and remove it. All right. I'll know. So this uh, engage controller, the three switches are onboarded already. I'm coming back to the controller management because this is important. Uh, as I said, you create your sites, okay, under the controller management. I have my SDVUE IAC site. I have my Netgear IAC site. Uh, you configure those sites. You save those sites. You can export, import uh, between several engaged controllers. Switches were discovered earlier. Switches are now onboarded into the engaged controller. Engage, if you have internet connectivity here, will uh, allow for a uh, firmware upgrade so that you can program and do the firmware upgrades in the background. All right. So let me show you what do we have. We have this very simple uh, topology with a core switch with plenty of 25 gig Ethernet. And we have two switches under so that we can deploy SDVOE across three different switches. You're going to ask me, how does it work? Well, the Engage knows everything. Because we have this automatic link aggregation, if I go to the uh, physical topology, you now can see that I'm using the ports 33, 39, 37, and 35 on the left, and 39, 8, 7, 40 on the right. Okay, so Engage tells you exactly which ports are used. And yes, those are the 25 gig ports that I display in red. So this is your topology. What do you want to do today? Two possibilities. First, maybe we have a SDVOE only operation to do, right? So this is going to be the, our first use case. And the second use case will be, oh, we want to do SDVOE installation, but we also want to do some uh, audio with QC, so AES67 in another VLAN, all right? So let's start with the first 
uh, uh, case. I want to do SDV only on that network. Of course, I could still go individually on the switches, click configure, so that you have the Netgear AV user interface, and one by one, you can do your configuration switch by switch. But this is not what we want to do. Instead, we are going to use the controller at the site level. And at the site level, you see that by default, all switches, they have a VLAN 1 already. This is the management VLAN, okay? And this management VLAN is using, by default, the data profile. So we are going to edit the VLAN 1 together. And this VLAN 1, in any of your installations, you have it. This is the default VLAN. And we are going to change the AV template. Instead of doing data on this AV uh, VLAN 1, we are going to scroll and scroll again and take the video profile. Okay, the video profile is the one you want to use for uh, SDVOE, uh, in, for instance. We may have a, an issue with the dark team. Let me see something real quick. Okay, so for a reason I don't have the small text <laughs> displaying under, that might be a display uh, issue when I do the screen share. So the video profile description uh, applies to any type of video over IP and of course applies to SDVU. Next, well, you may want to uh, change the color for your ports. Next, for the VLAN 1, you already have your three switches with all ports included. You agree? Because the, all the ports belong to the VLAN 1 by default. So I'm just going to apply that Yes, I'm sure. And in less than three clicks, in less than three clicks, we applied the video profile to all ports on the network. And what is happening here is that the configuration for it has been pushed from the controller to the three switches. Now, if I click save, all switches have their configuration saved and you are ready to go. So coming back to the uh, topology, now you have, I'm going to get back to the physical topology instead, because with SDVOE, what matters is the bandwidth, right? So we have this network with four 25G ports in between the first and second switch, and the other four in between the first and third switch. So we have 100 gigabit of bandwidth bidirectional between the left and the right. So we can now confidently deploy, for instance, 10 encoders on the, on the first uh, uh, switch, and maybe five encoders there, five other encoders there, and everything else decoders, and you will never exceed the 100 gig bandwidth in between the switches. So. Of course, if we have more, we need to select other switches with 100 gig links instead of 25 G links. But you did not see me uh, configure multicast, right? Because IGMP Plus has been already done for you. The link aggregation has been dynamically done for you already. And the trunking, well, there's no trunking yet because it's VLAN 1. All right. So now let's continue and do the second use case. We are doing SDVOE on the VLAN 1. Let's say we want to do some audio for Bolero Widel Intercom, for instance, on another VLAN, okay? So in addition to the VLAN 1, we are going to create a new profile. We are going to select the audio AES67 with all the quality of service, all the PTP, everything that is needed for AES67. Next, we are going to give it a name. This is going to be my AES67 for my intercom. Let's create the VLAN 20. Which color should we use? Well, let's go for a green color this time. Okay, next, we want to do the port selection. Maybe you want to have a few of the Bolero, Riddle, Bell Packs, and Antenna on the first six ports on that switch on the right. Maybe you want also to always, always use the four first six ports. You will copy paste that port counts on the other switches. All right. So you can keep track of what you are doing all the time. 
And all switches are now green because they all participate into your AS67. Next, we apply and we are sure. So instead of doing VLAN 1 this time, we have created the VLAN 20 for AS67. Uh, do we want to go layer 3 on it? Yeah, why not? So let's continue with the layer 3. Engage is taking you by the hand and asking you what you want to do. We are going to do routing on this switch so that you have connectivity uh, between the switches. I'm going to select the first switch. Uh, this controller now uh, can be saved and uh, not only this controller is allowing for configuration, but when the switches are online, it's providing you with the network monitoring. So when everything is installed, you can then review all your uh, statistics and uh, switch health one by one. Well, uh, I'm deeply sorry for this uh, uh, service interruption over here. Uh, I will probably find out after this presentation what went wrong. Do you remember we assigned a few ports? Oh, I know. I, I selected the first four ports, did I? The first eight ports. I'm not in the right VLAN anymore. You should have told me. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so I got you, I got you. So we are gonna go on the other side, okay, to make sure, because we selected the first six ports on the left. So my PC all of a sudden was in the VLAN 20, which was a layer two VLAN without warning yet. All right. So now the switches are back online. All right, so maybe I should have extended time, maybe five minutes more, because we need, we need to continue here. All right, all right. So that was a good real world uh, exercise. I moved my port into a layer two VLAN. Okay, so now we are gonna go back to our routing because I want to do a new VLAN routing, okay? I want to do that on my VLAN 20. All right, so I was back there and blocked. So we are gonna say we want to do routing on all switches, but the core switch, I know you want to consider that core switch like I do, you want to do core on it with routing DHCP server and IGMP querier. I select that. So now Engage knows what is your plan. All right. Let's apply this. We are going to the VLAN routing section. The core switch at the top of this rack is already pre-selected for DHCP server. Let's create an interface on it, 192.168 VLAN 20, right? 20.1, 255, 255, 255. Let's stay in class C. And we are going to create a DHCP client uh, interface on the other switches, okay? Your DHCP server now is ready to go. The router for your devices is gonna be the 20.1. This is your layer three interface on the core switch where the DHCP server is. We are gonna do a DHCP pool, start at 100 and finish at 200 so that you have some space for your statics. Oops. If you want to do some internet, you can do so. If you don't want to do some internet, you don't put DNSs, that's your call. Uh, should you want to always have the same IPs. So going to the advanced for the VLAN 20, DHCP address reservations is really easy. Either you add manually some static max for always, always the same IP, or you can import an Excel file so that you can just tell the controller, the first column, the MAC addresses, second column, the IP addresses, and just configure your uh, DHCP server this way, all right? Let's go to the DHCP bindings, more than normal. I have two switches down there. So the two switches took a DHCP client address for the VLAN 20. So congratulations, because if I'm going back to the topology, this time I'm not losing access on every switch let's check on every switch you have your switch configured for sdboe on the right hand side on the vlan one and uh, we forgot to put a color on the vlan one so it's all white 
and then you have your uh, green uh, AES67 setup. So going back, and this will be my conclusion, to the physical topology now, in less than 10 minutes, if I remove the time I lost when I was in the wrong VLAN with you, in less than 20, uh, 20, uh, 10 minutes, you have succe succe successfully configured SDV in the VLAN 1 and AES67 in the VLAN 20 across a number of link aggregation groups and this network is absolutely ready to go with your DHCP server for your audio. Thank you for your attention. It's great seeing you. Any more information, you don't hesitate to come back to the Netgear booth uh, uh, 5C750. Okay? Thank you. Have a good show.